Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Omori. Last time we left off, we did a bunch of stuff with our pet rock. And, uh, I was supposed to go do a couple other things. Oh yeah, we also delivered pizza. Uh, so I delivered the pizzas. I wish Kel would tell me exactly everything that I needed to do. Did I? I, I did beat the person in here, right? Oh yeah, we didn't talk to you jerks. That's right. Ah, my tongue. Fah. Sunny and Kel, what are you doing here? Don't you know it's rude to bother people while they're eating? Ew, it's a nerd. Grumble, grumble, leave us alone. We got no business with you today. Pizza. Me too, man. Hi Hello. Oh, hi, Charlie. That's, is that, the, like, the first time you spoke? Okay, so... Mentioned... The pizza place, I, th I think? I wish there was a way to, like, see what exactly, uh, my other thing was. I think I needed to go to the other mart for something. So, before we go in there, let's go in to fix it. Anybody in here want to play with my rock? Oh, yeah, I forgot this opens up back here. But there's no reason to come back here. No reason to toll. Uh-oh. Hey, uh, Sonny? Let's go somewhere else. Kel, son, is that you? What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be doing errands for your mom? Oh, hi, Dad. I didn't expect to see you there. <laughs> come on, Sonny. Don't we have that really important thing we gotta go to? Yeah, we should go. Don't want to be late. All right then, see you later, champ. Uh, I guess Kel was scared of getting busted, or he just doesn't like his dad for some reason. Not really sure what the reason would be. What do you sell? Welcome to Fix It, where you can buy stuff and fix it yourself. What can I interest you in? Flowers. For important people? Sure. I'll buy some flowers. There you go, I got flowers. I don't know what the flowers are for. Can I give them to somebody? I'll give some flowers to somebody. All right, uh, or two. Where to? Oh yeah, the other mart. Jesus. Uh, I moved like everything around. So uh, if I sound a little bit different, that might be why. Um, got, I got all my settings set back up and everything. I, I got a new desk, so I had to move everything around, and I'm in a kind of awkward position right now. Let's go to the bakery. My mom placed an order there. Ice. Very cold. A wet mop. Bending machine. Yeah. Flowers. Hi. How are you? If you're feeling stressed, may I suggest some tea? Earl Grey and chamomile are good, but boba is my favorite. My opinion, food is only a vehicle for sauce. There are so many types of tamales on the market now. Don't need any of that fancy stuff. Canned tamales are good enough for me. Interesting. Grapes. This makes me want to play Stardew Valley. Makes me want to play Stardew Valley. Then again, everything makes me want to play Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley is a good game. Damn it, I was hoping there was, uh... I was hoping there was something in here. I just realized, are you, sweetheart? <laughs> Mincy is diligently sketching away. Okay. Cardboard cut out of the shop owner. Seems a bit much. Yeah, you might be sweetheart in our world. Alright, what are you two doing? That was... Mari and... I, I'm guessing Hero? Oh, cool, we can go pick up pills. Where- why did none of you nerds have pet rocks? Let's see, what medication would help the most for a 30-hour flight? You kids need anything for cuts or scratches? Oh my god. We can buy healing items. Thank you. I got it. I bought a first aid kit, so if I get the shit knocked out of me again, I can heal. I didn't even notice this place when I went to the other mart last time. Thick eyebrows. 
Is that Japanese? I think that's Japanese. Joy. You don't understand anything they're saying. Other Mart Lady Joy. You don't understand anything they're saying. Hello. Fish. A cat's favorite food. Uh, alright. I don't need that right now, I don't think. Ooh, a job. Hey. Job? Okay. Oh, you're gonna take this job? That's cool. I'll just go hang out somewhere else in the meantime. See you soon, Sonny. What's with these jobs that last, like, a few hours? I give you weapon. You kill flies. Okay? Okay. You got a fly swatter. Now go! I will kill you, flies! Oh, wow, we actually f do battle with them. I thought we were just gonna, like, swat them or something. Ow! Sonny slaps himself in the face because it landed on my face. Wow. So Sonny hurts himself in his confusion in this battle. Got it. Come here, you. I will do a murder. Oh no, there's three now. <laughs> I don't need to focus, that's for damn sure. Buzzes around Sonny's ear. Sonny's angry. He feels angry. I did on Sonny's face and slaps himself. Boom. Yeah, this is a, uh, flies are very annoying. I can kind of understand Sonny being angry here. They're obnoxious, obnoxious as shit and just fly around your face. And it's not good, it's not nice. I don't like them. Done? Are we done here? We are done here, now you're neutral. As soon as the flies were murdered, he went back to normal. Haha! -ha. Okay, you're just another one. Die. Am I gonna have to fight like a horsefly boss? Or er, horsefly, housefly boss at some point? Horseflies are jerks. I hate horseflies. I used to have a swimming pool in my backyard and um... Those things were annoying as hell. They land on you and they sting you and they're assholes. When you hear one buzzing around, I would always just splash the water a lot to try and make it go away. They're massive, massive cunts. I just realized I didn't set a timer for this video, so I'm not gonna know how long I've been recording. Fantastic. Sunny was victorious. Yay. Okay, that's all of them, right? Good job. Other Mart Lady took back her fly swatter. You got $20. Ooh. $20 for swatting a few flies is pretty damn good. I want that job. Hey, Sonny. How'd you do? While you were working, I decided to sit on the bench and talk to strangers. Man, that was fun. Well, I'm ready to go whenever you are. That's cool. I got more money. How about we buy a fish? You don't understand anything they're saying. Hello, fish? Yes. Okay. It says it's a cat's favorite food. Maybe I can feed it to a cat. Raw meat. I have one job and it's to sell meat. Used for making hamburgers. I'm good. I hope we meet again. <laughs> can I do the job again? Job posting. You already did this job today. Oh, okay. So is that how we're supposed to raise money? Interesting. I didn't understand that uh, that was the case. Whew. All right. All right, so we just need to go to the bakery now, I suppose. So what's the deal with you two? A fresh bread. Fresh bread. Would you like some fresh bread? Fresh bread. Fresh bread. Would you like some fresh bread? Oh. I can't walk between you two? Okay, never mind. We've been running this bakery for four generations, ever since my mom sailed here from across the sea. I hope one day my children will be able to carry on the tradition of me uh, managing this bakery. It would mean the world to me and my husband. Welcome to our family bakery. What would you like? Hiya, ah, yeah. I'm here to pick up an order. Hmm, ah yes, your mother said you'd be coming. Though I expected you to be here a bit earlier. I'll go grab your order. Did you know? This bakery belongs to Mikhail's family. I guess you can't really tell because he wears that horrible yellow wig all the time. Seems like he's making a pretty big effort to stand out and be different. Interesting. Here's your order, sir. We hope to see you soon. Please enjoy your baked goods. 
You got Kel's bakery order. Cool, thanks. All right, we're good to go now, Sonny. I'm ready when you are. Where are we going? Just home? I don't know, actually. Hmm, all right. Maybe now we can go see what they're up to? No. What do you got to say? Oh yeah, we do. Oh, okay, so yeah, I knew, yeah, we had to go here. I just never actually talked to the pizza man. What can I get for you? Hi, I'm here to pick up an order. I see. What would you like? Oh, I know. You Would you like pizza? Nom nom. I think my mom phoned in an order for a hero sandwich this morning. I'm just here to pick it up. Oh, I see. You're the family that keeps ordering sandwiches instead of pizza. But it's on the menu, isn't it? Hmm, yeah, you're right. I guess so. Okay, I'll go get it. You know, I don't know if I ever told you this, but that's why my brother's nickname is Hero. You think it's because of some really cool reason, like he saved a puppy when he was a kid or something. But no, he just really likes sandwiches. <laughs> so that's where his name comes from. Okay, here's your Hero sandwich. Please enjoy. I've heard the name Hero before, so it, it wasn't too weird to me. I didn't even know it was a nickname. I thought it was just his name. You got Kel's Pizza order. Cool, thanks. All right, we're good to go now, Sonny. I'm ready when you are. All right, out of here. So, what do? Baked goods, check. Sandwiches, check. Well, that's everything, and just in time, too. Looks like the sun's about to set. Let's get back to my house. Hero should be coming by home any time now. All right. So we did all of that. There's, st are you sure there's nobody else to play to play Pet Rocks with? I almost ran in front of a car and died. That would have been horrible. All right, I had a phone call, so now we got to go get back to Kel's house. Uh, I didn't collect any more garbage, did I? Hello, youngins. I don't know if you've been watching your stuff, but it's quite a bit of trash. Uh, I don't see any trash. I don't see any trash, ma'am. I have, in fact, picked up most of the trash. Oh, yeah, we never did ever talk, talk to the uh, recycultists again. I wonder if they just say the same thing. Where the recycultists fall over the holy bin, all of litter must accept that they are trash. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. So I can turn myself in for money to the lady? That'd be convenient. That would be very, very handy. Well, I got a fish if we ever find another cat. Maybe I should explore uh, down here some. There's the pinwheel. Uh, I wish I could just steal this person's trash. Isn't this Aubrey's house? Like, why, why can't I just take the trash out of people's yards, you know? Why isn't that a thing I can do? Yeah, and here's the church. Nobody's littering around the church. All right, I won't, I won't fuss about it, fuss about it too much. Just for the sake of actually making progress, I won't explore every little tiny bit of town. Let's just go back to Kel's place. Is this your house or is it the next one? Oh yeah, it's the one with the doggy. Before we go in, I should probably mention that my mom's going to be a little mad about me taking so long with the groceries. I was supposed to bring everything back around noon, but I got carried away doing other stuff and sitting on benches while you waited for me to do a job. And, well, you know how it goes. But anyway, I just thought of a solution for this. So, I think you should walk in first. That way she'll see you first and get all excited. And most importantly, she'll forget to yell at me. See, it's a win-win for everyone. <laughs> Got it? Okay, let's go. All right. Let's go win. Wow, nice house. Mom, Sunny's here. What took you so long, Kelly? I sent you off hours ago. How long does it take to get a bunch of sandwiches? Oh my, is that Sunny? Must be. So good to see you again. But dear, you look so thin. Have you been eating properly? Here's the stuff you asked for, Mom. Give the bakery order and pizza order to Kel's mom. Oh yeah, one pizza. It's a sandwich. Hurry, Sunny. Let's go upstairs to my bedroom. Now wait just a second, young man. Bye, Mom. See you when dinner's done. Wow, he just ignored her. Okay, can we explore here? Is there anything to... A lot of art. A bunch of books, most of them about fishing or golf. So this is about fishing or golf. Can I look at the pictures on the wall? No. 
All right. Well, what about this? Bunch of new books on the table. A great guide to good grilling. Grilling is a way of life. How to perfectly cook chicken. Hmm. Looks like Kel's dad found a new hobby. Bookcase full of action figures and toys. There are a few new additions since you were last here. A bunch of family photos. Kel sure has a lot of relatives. The door is locked. We just left coffee sitting here. An unfinished cup of coffee. Think you can hold it a bit longer, Sonny? I want to show you my room first. Fine. Well, here it is. Make yourself at home. What's with all the damn trophies? Look, I've got a basketball hoop and a boombox, just like I always wanted. Here, I'll play a song for you. You also got a gaming console. Yep, it's pretty sweet. Oh yeah, this song was played uh, at one point. I don't remember when it was, though. Mom will let me play it too loud, though, because she says it's bad for Sally. Oh wait, you haven't met Sally yet, huh? <laughs> Guess what, Sonny? I'm a big brother now. Sally's my baby sister. My mom will probably bring her downstairs around dinner time. She's really small and really cute. <laughs> Kel, there's a girl at the door. She says she's here to see you. Huh? I wonder who that could be. Uh, Aubrey? I was about to say, let's turn the music off. Explore Kel's room. Kel's wardrobe. Hey, there's $20 in here. Take it. <laughs> um... That's just rude. You left $20 in Kel's wardrobe. That's just rude. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not gonna steal my, my best friend's money. Kel's game console. It looks well used. Kel's only award. Annual hot dog eating contest participant. That's his only award? What are you talking about? There's like a billion trophies. Okay, it's full of action figures and toys. State Mathematical Olympiad. First place. State Spelling Bee. First place. State Junior Cooking Competition first. Oh, this is Hero's side of the room. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I just realized there's two side of the rooms now. Okay, so yeah, Kel only got the hot dog eating co contest participant. But Hero has, like, all of these things. He's the perfect husband. An alarm clock for responsible people. It's set to five minutes early. State Debate Competition most improved. Hero's work desk. Very tidy. Not an eraser shaving in sight. Yeah, you can really tell the difference between the two sides of the room. <laughs> All the trophies and certificates on the wall, and Kel has, like, Space Boy and stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with with being like this, in my opinion. Like, not not everybody needs to be fantastic at everything like Hero. Some people are, some people are suited for that, and some people aren't, and there's nothing wrong with that. You keep doing you, Kel. All right. Uh, I don't think that's Aubrey. Hey, Kel. Hey, Sunny. S sorry for intruding. I was just wondering if you know where Basil is. Oh, it's Polly. Yeah, Basil's caretaker. I thought he might be with you. Basil? Hmm. We did see him at the park earlier, but that was a while ago. If you see him, can you tell him to come home? I'm really worried about him. <clears throat> of course, Polly. We'll be on the lookout. Thanks. I know I could count on you guys. Weird. Basil's missing today? I have a bad feeling about this, especially with Aubrey and the Scooter Gang around. Maybe we should try to find him before it gets dark. Can we go look for him, Mom? Sec, let me pull my phone out. I forgot I gotta actually keep an eye on my time here. Pretty please? Well, that girl did look awfully worried. Uh, okay, just make sure to be home by dinner. But I haven't seen the kitchen yet. What is this? A fancy purse. Look inside, yeah. What you digging in my mom's purse for, Sonny? You found pepper spray. Take it. Yes? You got pepper spray. Whoa, my mom had pepper spray? That could come in handy if we run into any trouble. Good thinking, Sonny. Can I equip pepper spray? These are all you have. Hands. Uh, what is the pepper spray for? Is it a, like, important item? No? Toys? Pepper spray. For self-defense only. Huh. <clears throat> oh, it's a talking fish. I was about to say. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Alright, that's enough of that. 
cute song though. Wow, how many how many decapitated stuffed animals do you have? Pots and pans are scattered throughout the kitchen. This is true. Salt and pepper shakers. The refrigerator. Open it? Yeah. Piles of assorted food stored in foil, cling film, and plastic containers. You can't tell what anything is. Fair. Alright, so we're out of here. I guess. I don't think there's anything else to examine in here, really. Yeah, I could examine every little thing, but uh, that wouldn't be make for a very good video, now would it? Alright. <clears throat> out of here we go. So we gotta go look for Basil. <clears throat> hmm. If I had to guess where Basil was, maybe at the... Basil was at the park, so maybe at the secret hideout they talked about? The Scooter Gang? They're not here anymore. Can I have their last slice of pizza? No. Okay, so they're not here anymore. Hmm. <clears throat> Jeez, my throat. All screwed up today. Hmm, could Basil be somewhere in Faraway Park? That's what I was thinking. Um... Where is this, like, secret place we can go to, I wonder? Hmm... Ah, yes, this is where Basil was hanging out. Man, where can Basil be? I don't see him anywhere. Somebody... help! Sonny, did you hear that? I think that was Basil. Help me! Please! Where's this voice coming from? Hold on a sec, I know this area. Basil's voice is coming from our old hangout spot. Yep. The entrance should be still be around here. Okay. Right there. Hey! Better not be beating up my friend again. Oh, this is the hangout spot from the dream. There's the puzzle and everything. Help me! Somebody! <clears throat> what the hell are you yelling for, Basil? You're making a scene. This place is our secret hangout spot. You can't be here because you weren't invited. Dang it, Basil. Be quiet. Someone's gonna find this place. Yeah, we're not trying to hurt you. We just want you to get out of here. Hey, stop it. What are you doing to Basil? What the? Rumble, grumble. It's Kel and Sunny again. Why do you always show up? How did you even find this place? Come on, Aubrey. We gotta defend our turf. Aubrey? Grr. Go away, Kel. You're not welcome here. I'm just having all the interruptions today. This is our spot. Oh, is this your spot now? Well, this used to be our old hangout spot, wasn't it, Aubrey? Watch it, or we'll mess you up. Fine. If that's how it's going to be, then at least stop bullying Basil. We weren't even doing anything to him. He just started screaming for no reason. Yeah, sure you weren't. Why should I believe you? We're telling the truth. Stop being such a self-righteous prick. Come on, guys. Let's make sure this is the last time these two mess with us. Sounds good to me. I'm right behind you, the Maverick. I got pepper spray. Let's settle this, Kel. If you and Sonny are gonna pick a fight with me and my friends, you've got one. Come on, gang. Let's teach him a lesson. Whoa. We are actually fighting all of them. Uh... Well, I have something I'll have you know. Pepper spray! Eat it, nerd! Uh, encourage Sunny. Tax Kel, 40 damage. Kel gives some encouragement. Eat pepper spray, fools! Hooligans took 500 damage. Ah, my eyes! Master, I can't see! <laughs> Please. What trickery is this? Ouch. Ouch, that hurts. What the heck is this? Pepper spray? Really? Gah, you two are the worst. Yeah, that's right. Eat shit. <laughs> I'm glad I grabbed that. I was like, this might come in handy.
Yeah, eat it, nerds. No, oh, this can't be happening. How can we lose to just the two of them? That doesn't make any sense. Because I had pepper spray. <sighs> I want to go home. Let's just get out of here. Shouldn't you guys still be screaming from pain from the pepper spray? <laughs> you said it. Yeah, get out of here. Nerds. It is I who kicked the ass this time. You coming, Aubrey? She's still reeling from the pepper spray. Guessing she got the most of it. Oh, okay. Catch you later, then. Aubrey? Ugh. Ugh. Why? Why do you guys keep coming back? I just want you to leave me alone. Sunny, why? Why did you show up now? I just want you to stop messing with Basil. What's your deal with him all of a sudden? We used to be friends. We all used to be. You think I'm the bully, but you're all messed up too. Where were you when Mari died? Where were any of you? And you. You're the worst, Basil. How dare you still show your face to me after what you did? Aubrey, I... Get away from me! Oh god. Shoot. What the heck, Aubrey? What are you doing? You've taken this way too far. W wait, hold on, I didn't mean to... Sunny, don't worry about Aubrey, I'll keep her busy. Just go help Basil. I'm uh, scared of water, though. Do you want to save Basil? Yes. Screw my fear of water. Basil's drowning. I don't like those noises. Oh lord. I see. Now we're in our underwater house. And we can't go into any of these, correct? We cannot. All right. Hi, Mari. Mari, come back. Uh. What is that noise? Okay, that's just my fear trying to get me. Okay. You kind of like walk towards me a little bit. But now and now I can walk again. It stopped me there for a second. The tendrils want to get me, but I won't let them. I have to get over my fear of water. Come on, go. Screw the hands. Oh, the knife. What is the significance of this knife? Oh, I hate it. I hate it. No. Go away. That's a big face, by the way. Um, something drags you down. Oh, screw you, something. Afraid? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, skill. Calm down. We got this. We got this. I am neutral. Uh, attack. I can barely read that text. Sunny attacks something. Steady your heartbeat. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. Attack it again. i to adjust my monitor here. There we go. You have to keep going. Don't give up. No matter how impossible it seems. Reach out to the voice and remember how to persist. Persist? Heart cannot reach zero for one turn. Uh, Sunny's next attack deals double damage? Let's try that. Focus. Sunny focuses. Something listens to Sunny's struggle? Okay, let's see if the f Okay. 
Water pulls sunny in different directions. Okay, my attack did nothing. Okay, let's just persist then. Sunny persists. Okay, so it just wanted us to use our new thing. What will Sunny do? Persist? Sunny persists. Still persist? Sunny persists. Oh, I think we're getting closer to the top of the water. I think that's what that was symbolizing. Hero saved me! It's Hero! My Hero! Hmm... Looks like Basil's breathing is steady, but we need to get him somewhere warm, quickly. Yeah, he's had a rough day. Let's go get him home as soon as possible. Wait! Where do you think you're all going? That's enough. Don't you think you've caused enough trouble? Come on guys, we gotta go. Hmm. Aubrey is very angry. Looks like Basil's breathing is steady, but we should bring her home as soon as we can. I'll listen to you, hero. I will listen to you. I really like this music. It reminds me of Kingdom Hearts 2 for some reason. Meow? You don't want a fishy? Okay, I thought you would want a fishy. But you do not want a fishy. I guess we have more pressing things to deal with right now than feeding a cat, but hello, here's another cat. Nope, no fishy. Looks like Basil's breathing is steady. Okay, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Down, and then this way. <clears throat> Wrong house. Basil! What happened? Is he okay? His breathing is stable. He just needs a change of clothes and a warm bed. Okay, I can do that. Quick, come inside. Can you help me bring him to his room? Sure thing. Phew, that was intense. I hope Basil wakes up soon. Can't believe we <laughs> pepper sprayed those nerds. That's hilarious. I was just like, boom, pepper spray. I'm glad I went through that purse, because I imagine that would have been a super, super hard fight if I hadn't. And I only had one first aid kit, but yeah. All right, I think since it's giving us the option to save here, I am going to go ahead and save here. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be, because I did have to get up like multiple times and go do something else during this video, but hopefully it's still good. So I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you next time.